Life is one day at a time dot com. Welcome to Life Is One Day at a Time dot com. I'm Minister Chestnut. Thank you for joining me again on another day of life and another day of love to live in His riches and glory. Praise God as we continue each and every Friday. We're getting deep into hey, life and love. We're talking about life. But we're dealing with love. And one of the major commandments that we should have is that we should love one another. Now, how do we do that? Well, tonight we're going to talk about righteous living. Spiritual righteous living. Now, how do we do that? Hey, to start, we wake up keep the faith, and go to sleep. Now let's get a little deeper. Spiritual righteous living is a concept that encompasses a set of values and principles that guides individuals toward leading a righteous and and fulfilling life. It involves aligning one's actions, thoughts, and beliefs with a higher spiritual ideals and moral virtues. It was a disaster to take God out of the schools. Kids now have no spiritual direction. Schools lack the truth involved in life and love. And if it's not taught at home, kids are in trouble. Just look at the news and see how disturbing it is. Living a spiritual, righteous life means striving to be morally upright and virtuous in every aspect of one's life. It means being honest, kind, compassionate, and fair in dealing with others. It means treating everyone with respect and dignity regardless of their background or beliefs. By living in accordance with these values, we can create a harmonious and compassionate society where everyone is treated with fairness and justice. One aspect of spiritual righteous living is cultivating a strong sense of self-awareness. This involves reflecting on our own thoughts and feelings and actions and being aware of the impact they have on ourselves and others. Understanding our own strengths and weaknesses, we can work towards personal growth and self-improvement. This self-awareness also allows us to empathize with others and we can better understand their perspective and, and experiences. Spiritual righteous living also involves being mindful of our connection to the wider world. It means recognizing that we are part of a larger web of life and that our actions have consequences beyond ourselves. It includes being mindful of our impact on the environment and making choices that are sustainable and eco-friendly. It also means being mindful of our actions in relationship to social justice issues such as poverty, inequality, and discrimination. By choosing 
to advocate for social change and actively working toward a fairer society, we can contribute to a more spiritually righteous world. That means taking responsibility for voting your conscience, which should reflect your righteousness. Furthermore, spiritual righteousness living encourages individuals to cultivate a positive and more grateful attitude toward life. It involves recognizing the blessings and abundance that surround us and expressing gratitude for them. Jesus came that we should have life and have it more abundantly. By shifting our focus toward the positive aspects of life, we can cultivate a sense of contentment and inner peace because we don't have the spirit of fear, but of peace, love, and a sound mind. This positive mindset also enables us to approach challenges and setbacks with resilience and determination. In conclusion, spiritual righteous living is about leading a life that is guided by a higher moral principles and spiritual values. It involves being honest, kind, and compassionate while also being mindful of our impact on the world and cultivating self-awareness, we engage in acts of service and practice gratitude. Individuals can strive to live a spiritual righteous life. In doing so, we can contribute to a more harmonious and compassionate society. It involves being honest, kind, compassionate, while also being mindful of our impact on the world. We can cultivate self-awareness and engage in acts of service and practice gratitude. Individuals can strive to live a spiritual, righteous life each and every day, one day at a time. In doing so, we can contribute to a more harmonious and compassionate society. One day at a time. And that's all the way we can do it. One day at a time. Wake up. Keep the faith. Go to sleep. We can go to sleep to God's faithfulness and wake up to his ever-loving kindness. Wake up, keep the faith, go to sleep. And I'm out of time. We'll pick this up next week as we continue on another episode of Life is One Day at a Time dot com. Mercy, mercy, mercy. Life is one day at a time.